Finally, guys, you are done. Let's make a very quick conclusion or course wrap up on what do you saw in this course. So first things first, this is five section or in, this is separated into five main blocks. The introduction, review of mass transfer, flash distillation concepts, which is one of the interesting ones, and then multi-component flashing. Let's see more detail what you should know by now. So if you think that maybe you don't get the idea or how does that work or you feel you don't have the good basis or strong fundamentals, you should definitely go back and check it out. Now, first introduction, why the course, why I decided to do this, why flash distillation is important for you. Mostly because, well, first in the industry, we have it a lot. And secondly, because it will help us to solve mass transfer problems. Then objectives and goals, we're going to go back and see if we have seen them or if we have achieved them. Then some resources and downloads and additional notes regarding the educational platform. Now the section number two for me is very important because you need to have strong mass transfer fundamentals before you can even continue. So you don't know what's equilibrium, vapor fractions, uh, partial pressures, liquid vapor equilibrium, how to read a phase diagram or calculate very simple ideal solution, ideal gas models. Then it's very hard for you to continue with flash distillation and any other mass transfer course. So I will be eventually preparing a course literally just on mass transfer review because I don't want you to study mass transfer each time you have these courses. So for instance, I have a flash distillation course. I have a fractionation or fractional distillation course as well. I have a gas absorption course and all of them work with a section on mass transfer. But it will be great for me just to let you know that, okay, have you taken your mass transfer course? Yes. Then you can continue directly to this uh, core part instead of losing time and getting demotivated. Because once you have this, you can go directly to section three, which is flash distillation concepts. Remember that we saw the process technology, how flash drums work, what do they need, what's their main use and so on some equipments, the importance of the operation line, not only into flash distillation, but in other examples. As stated before, in gas absorption, we have operation lines. In fractional distillations, we have a operation line. We have operation lines essentially in anything that uses a X, Y diagram. Then we saw flash cascades, what they are important. How do they relate to several other processes? For instance, the distillation column is nothing more than a series of flash systems for the enriching section and for the stripping section. And then this is essentially based for binary systems, even though in theory they can also be used in multi-component uh, systems, but we analyze multi-component systems strongly here. So we have an introduction on the vapor liquid equilibrium uh, theory behind multi-components, Raj for rice equations, and we saw a lot of alkane systems. And before we even check this out, let's go and wait. Well, anyway, let's go all the way back and verify the goals and objectives. Good. So hopefully by now you achieve the objectives of this course and if not please let me know if this is because you don't have the material or the lectures were not presented correctly or maybe just you just need to repeat it uh, the lecture again maybe some exercises uh, review a simulation and you will be all set up for the next course so the first one was understand the principles behind flash distillation well by now i pretty sure that you know what's flash distillations, what is vapor, liquid equilibrium, K values, the distribution of such species, uh, vapor pressures versus per partial pressures and so on. Understand the concepts of single stage versus multiple stages. We saw these via cascades. Remember that a flash drum is actually just a single stage and the more flashes we added, the more stages we can do. And the more stages, the more composition we get. 
Get to know the common equipment used in flash distillation. We saw a lot of nozzles, a lot of materials, a lot of, uh, what else, baffles, straightening paints, some even control uh, equipment. So I'm pretty sure that you know the basic equipment so far. One of the most important parts will be use material and energy balances to solve flash distillation problems. So material balances are typically accompanied by K values or by equilibrium uh, theory. And the energy balances is, well, adding the heat duties, temperature changes, enthalpies, and so on. So this is also what we saw in the course. The concept of operation line, which in my opinion is one of the most important ones in this course, if you understand it here, you will understand it in other courses which are related to mass transfer. Flash drum sizing, when it is convenient to use vertical and horizontal alignments, that's also important. Also know the L and D ratios, typical heights and guidelines whenever using the normal liquid level, low liquid level, nozzle level, the demister height, and so on. Solve common engineering problems related to binary and multi-component systems. So far, we focus our attention in theory and some cases, but it's also my intention that you use actual real life scenarios because I think flash cascades are very theoretical, but that helps you to understand other real life scenarios such as distillation or batch distillation in which you are going to have an enriching section and so on. So common engineering problems are given as well. Calculate dew and bubble points of mixtures, either binary mixtures or multi-component systems. It's very important to know how to get TXY diagrams, identify which line is the dew point line and which line is the bubble point and so on. And I'm pretty sure you love this section of process simulation, how we use Aspen Plus or HiSys in order to get equilibrium data, in order to get uh, the dew and bubble points, also in order to calculate heat duties, temperatures, uh, equipment sizing, flow rates, and more importantly, the material balances. So guys, I think we did a great job. Let me know in the comment section or via email if you like the course. Maybe you think there could be some more theory. Uh, here we didn't mention the rat for rice equation, which will be the multi-component systems but please let me know did you like it did you think the course can improve i'm pretty sure yes just let me know which thing can improve specifically so it was a honor to be your lecturer your instructor for the flash distillation course i'll see you in future courses i hope and keep rocking chemical and process engineering